Stay close to me and stay forever, stay together. Hey guys, it's Mark for Ableton Daily, and I wanted to give you a quick tip today. This is an update from the previous reverse vocal effect video that I created, and I received an email the other day from an Ableton Daily subscriber uh, mentioning the first reverse vocal effect video I did almost about a year ago, and they, they were saying something about how it could have been a little bit better. And so I decided to recreate the video uh, and redoing the effect completely. This way it could be a little bit more useful for you with your projects. So here we are, this is the sound. Together, close to me, and stay forever, stay together. All right, this is really easy to do. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and delete this track and I'll just go ahead and turn off my reverb here. And you'll want to start with a very dry vocal clip. And you may have a vocal clip with your current project. You might have a whole song or something, and you can just pull down a section of that audio, and you can apply the effect just to that audio. Now, if you don't want to destroy the original audio clip, then you'll just need to make a duplicate of the track or just make a new track and then drag a copy of that audio clip down to the new track. In this case, it doesn't really matter to me because this, this is just some royalty-free vocal clip that I got from a sound library. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. Uh, let me make sure it's set up here right. Go ahead and play this back. All right, so here's the dry vocal. Together, close to me, and stay forever, stay together. Okay, actually sounds like it's doubled or might have like a phaser on it or something, but it's pretty dry for this, for this particular sound. Okay, so the very first thing, after you have a clip that you would like to apply this effect to, make a copy of it, or if you have the clip and you're ready to go, just double click on it and reverse the clip. So just come down here where the sample options are, and click on REV, which is for reverse. And there you go, so it's reverse now. Okay, the next step is to just double click on the audio name and that will uh, bring up the effects drop box here. And just drag in a reverb into here and you can copy the settings that I have. I'm just using the Ableton Live reverb. And I've created a large room with about a almost a five second decay time. And I like that, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that and let's go ahead and play it back. The next step, create a new audio track. So just go ahead and right click and choose insert audio track, and then go ahead and expand that. And now over on the input section right here, select resampling. So basically we are gonna record this audio clip with the reverb onto this new audio track, okay? So I will go ahead and just arm this track. Now, if you have other tracks in your project, you wanna make sure that you solo just the vocal track or just the track that contains the clip that you wanna apply the effect to. So right here, I'm gonna just go ahead and solo that. I only have one track, but, and then just to make this a little bit easier, I will punch in and then punch out. And basically what that means is I'm going to mark an area where I want to start recording and then mark an area where I want to end the recording. And so I will use the loop brace for that. I will set it up on bar five and I will end it just about on bar 11 here. And to punch in, make sure this is uh, punched in, this turned on, and punched out is turned on. You don't have to have the punch out turned on, but uh, you know, you can just stop the recording up here if you would like. And now I will just mark where I want live to start playing from. So I'll just click anywhere in front of the clip, like right here is fine. And then I will click on record and then click on play. And it should record onto this new audio track with a reverb and everything. So here we go. Hello, it's
Okay, and you can see I extended that punch out just a little bit longer. That way I can have this nice reverb tail here. And that really makes the effect sound so much better anyway. Uh, but now I can just unsolo this track and then solo the track that I recorded to. Just like this. And then we can go ahead and unarm the track. And here's how it sounds. Okay, it sounds pretty cool, but we really can't understand what the guy is saying. So here's the trick, guys. When you get to this point, all you have to do is just double click on the clip that you recorded with the reverb and then just reverse it. That's it. That's the trick. And I will just go ahead and play this back. Together, close to me, and stay forever, stay together. So there you go. And this is a very popular type thing that has been created and produced in like horror movies and stuff like that where you could actually turn down, you can double click on the clip and you can transpose the clip a little bit lower to sort of create more of like a scary type sound. Of course, uh, before you do that, you want to make sure that the warp is not turned on. I just have mine set to come on by default in my preferences, but uh, I'll just double click, make sure warp's not turned on and you can just transpose the clip, you know, stretch it out a little bit and it will just slow down, kind of giving more of a horror type result. <laughs> Here we go. Now, it may not work with that particular vocal, but you, you kind of get the idea. So that's how we can create a new improved reverse vocal effect. My name's Mark, this is Ableton Daily. Hey, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Visit my YouTube channel for more videos on music and sound design. Take care.